Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Every once in a while, I'll be going through social media on one of the platforms and I get advertisements. Well, most of the advertisements, as we all do, right? They have an algorithm and that algorithm targets what you're interested in. And of course, my algorithms always show me bicycle products, like quite a bit. Like it's by far the large majority of what <laughs> my ad feeds show me. Um, and every once in a while I see something that's kind of neat or that I'm curious to whether it actually works as advertised. So what I did do is I got this true True Tension is the name of the company. I've never actually heard of them. Um, they make this plastic guard that goes behind your cassette and then it's got a little bucket that kind of catches the fluids when you're cleaning. The idea is, is it protects your rotor and other parts from getting cleaning fluid on them because you definitely, you're, you don't want anything on your brake rotor or within your brakes. You can get everything pretty mucked up on your bike but if your brake rotor gets anything on it your brakes are gonna suck so it makes sense to protect that um so we'll go ahead and try this out i did order probably wondering why this box is by my head their drivetrain cleaner and it's funny in the ad they show you just going shh in the uh cassette getting like cleaned as you spray so it'll be interesting to see if that actually happens and then there's a brush here so there's one end that looks like you can get into tighter spaces the other end clearly looks like you can run it along your chain and get your chain cleaned up um pretty simple and then i did try their all weather lube uh, we'll see how well that works usually all weather lube is kind of wet and messy versus a dry lube which is what you want to use if you're in dry conditions so um, someday i'll talk about the different types of chain lube and why you might want to use one over the other so let's go ahead and see how well this works and if it works as good as advertised this drive train isn't that dirty i mean it's got a bit of cayuna all over it but you know, it's pretty clean. It's not at a point where I would clean it. I'd probably clean the chain, but it's the dirtiest I have at the moment. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and just give this a try anyway and see how nice and shiny we can make all these parts. So first things first, we'll see how difficult it is to assemble this thing. Okay, so there's these little push button things. That obviously snap on here um, so this is something that I obviously have to go read some instructions on they do have some there and figure out how it works because just looking at it usually I can figure things out but this does not look like something I can just figure out by looking at it Okay, so they say to take this, put it behind your cassette. So you wanna be between your spokes and cassette. Then you push it all the way together. Hopefully this tab can catch. You kinda of gotta lock it into the slot right here. There we go. And then they say to take one of these, they have one on each side, and connect it to a spoke. So that supposedly holds this thing in place. Um, that's not working very well. Choose a different spoke. Yeah, so that aspect of it, connecting it into a spoke, doesn't really work that well. Like it doesn't stay locked onto a spoke, so it just falls right off. So that's interesting. Maybe try the other side. Okay, that one's holding. Okay, so now we're all set. Now what they say to do is there's this catch basin down here. They say to take a rag and put it in there. Helps if I have a rag handy. So the idea here is that you can put this in here and it'll absorb all of the draining fluids, right? 
So there you have it. It's all set up and ready to spray. Okay, so this can, it had a little safety thing that I just pulled out there so I can press the lever. Um, and basically, we're just gonna wanna go and spray the cassette. I wanna stand more at it because I see spray going off that way. And then the idea here is you should be able to turn it. Of course, that thing came out of the spoke and do the other side. So I would say this is protecting the rotor for sure. Um, I do see a lot of off spray going elsewhere, so it's not protecting that. And the fluid is dripping down into this basin, which is kind of nice because usually when I do this kind of stuff, I just accept that it's going to get on the floor and then I clean the floor up later. So we'll go ahead and rotate this a little more. Um, let's do the chain. I don't know if this is supposed to be used on the chain. Drivetrain cleaner. Chain is part of the drivetrain, right? And then let's just kind of give the derailleur a... Although that's going to drip on the floor. Okay. <laughs> so... Cleaning the chain and the derailleur, the chain drips on the floor over here and the derailleur drips on the floor. So this is clearly designed to just do the cassette um, as far as this catch basin doing its job. Um, let's take that brush out, you know, and you can use this end to go in and try to get all the grime off of your pulley wheels and so on and so forth, right? And if you have grime in there, you can give it a little extra work, right? So that kind of makes some sense. Uh, these are pretty common in the bike world. Uh, I know Park Tool sells different things, so on and so forth. So this is not a unique tool by any means. Um, I could even get at my chain if I wanted to this way, but the idea here is I should be able to stick this in the chain, clean the chain like this, do the inside first, do the outside, you know, we'll see how clean this chain actually gets. You know, and it does look like it's doing a pretty good job of getting all the grime off the chain and turning it back to metal color instead of Cayuna red color. Um, so one thing that makes this easier is once you're done spraying, you don't have to be as concerned. So you can take the guard off and then you can actually get in and get at any little nitty gritty parts with the brush, you know, things like that, right? and it's easier to get at stuff. I've been messing around with the derailleur, so on and so forth, but it actually looks pretty good. It's not fully dry yet. Once it dries, you'll get a really good sense of how well this worked. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's pretty clean now. Like, usually if I take my hand like that, I'll have like major, you know, like black, grease in this is a little bit, but I mean, it's mostly moisture and this uh, chemical fluid. So, um, and the chain's actually looking pretty clean too, like pretty surprising because it was that bright Cayuna red. So um, I'm gonna go wait and I should probably make sure this thing is in a way that it's not gonna catch in there, but uh, we'll wait until everything dries out and take a closer look and see if it's as clean as I think it might be. A few moments later. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say that's pretty good. I mean, this isn't like an extremely thorough cleaning, 
but for just a quick uh, solution, especially for if you're out, you know, not on the trail, but out on a trip or something like that, or don't have a lot of time and you just want to quickly clean your drivetrain after a ride or right before a ride or whatever, this works really well. I'm actually quite impressed. And you can actually see, like, I don't have a lot of overspill or anything on, like, my rim or tire even or anything like that. And certainly nothing got over there by the brake and the rotor, which is really what you want to protect. But I'm looking at my rim, and I don't see any stuff. Maybe one drop there got on there. That might have been when I sprayed the derailleur and the chain, though. So I would say this is a successful product. It's certainly not the only product like it. There's other uh, brands out there, but what I did like about this one was that little catch basin. So there you have it, true tension. Um, so an unfamiliar brand, just something I saw on social media. I did leave that rag in there i think i'm gonna just leave it in there and wait till it gets really soiled over multiple uses i don't need to just do it to use it as a one-time use the other thing i like about this is that can just get thrown away and i don't have to like figure out the dumping you know this kind of stuff down the drain which you really don't want to do so i like that um i don't know how environmentally friendly this stuff is um it says made in the uk so it's a uk company this isn't coming from china so that's kind of good to know um there's another brand out there that's really popular called muck off you've probably heard of that one and they have very similar things so if you're ever wanting some cleaning stuff or kind of this like quick thing i literally spent like five minutes on this and it's that clean which is pretty good for me you've been watching my channel you'll notice that <laughs> i have my stuff gets dirty quite often and i don't, i'm not very uh, vigilant about cleaning it and stuff like that um i ride in cayuna a lot which tends to have that kind of red you know iron ore dust that gets all over everything and you can kind of see it on this bike here still because i only clean this area um, and on the tire, right? Um, so yeah, it's pretty good uh, to be able to clean the drivetrain. And now all I have to do is lube the chain um, and I'm good to go. Uh, not sure on this bike I'm gonna use wet lube. This is a mountain bike that I take on dirt. So I'm gonna probably put my dry lube on here um, and I won't use that wet lube, but what that wet lube is good for is winter for commuting bikes in the winter time, for fat biking, things like that. Um, it's definitely nicer to use a wet lube um, and so on and so forth. So there you go. Um, if you like this kind of product review stuff, let me know and also um, like and subscribe my videos because you know the more that I can make off of YouTube, the more I'll, I'll take that money, put it back into my channel. I've been doing pretty much that pretty exclusively and I can afford to buy more products to review like this. So, um, cool. Appreciate your support for my channel. Peace.